Now we are going to look at the um, provisioning of uh, uh, mobile TV, um, which is again a very specific kind of IPTV service over the well known IEEE standard WiMAX uh, and Wi Fi. Uh, these two technologies are being considered here because uh, uh, these two technologies are basically IP centric. We'd look at the, these two technologies as the options and then we'll see how WiMAX and Wi Fi are suited for providing such service. Since uh, IEEE basically provided a lead to um, the IP based uh, service provisioning in 802.11, which is uh, Wi Fi, and 802.16, which is WiMAX, uh, it is important to look at uh, the behavior adopted by both of these technologies in the domain of IEEE. Uh, so uh, we are going to see how uh, television broadcasting takes place in these two technologies. Um, at the, at the more higher layers, uh, there are certain protocols which are common to both uh, um, WiMAX and Wi-Fi because these technologies are the link layer technologies. So we have uh, IP at the network layer, uh, we have UDP at the transport layer, and together we have uh, the um, motion picture expert group MPEG standard, which is basically an encoding video encoding standard. and the real-time protocol uh, family of uh, protocols including RTP, RTSP, RTCP. So these protocols are at the upper layer, but the main concern is how well suited are the two technologies for providing IPTV. Uh, as for WiMAX, since WiMAX provides a very high uh, bandwidth and a good data rate, uh, it has the most important essential that is it provides bandwidth. But does it provide quality of service? Yes, uh, it does. In fact, uh, we have already seen this. Uh, uh, it has different classes of service services. So for IPTV, the most important uh, and relevant um, classes are the uh, real-time polling service and the extended or enhanced real-time polling service. Now, these two service types actually are well suited for IPTV because uh, as you can see the real-time polling service actually is highly suited for uh, periodic packet transmission. It means that uh, the packet sizes may be varying, some packets may be large, some may be small, but uh, the periodicity is highly suited for real-time polling service. IPTV is not the only service that is supported by real-time polling service. In fact, voice over IP is also supported, which is uh, bi-directional. In voice over IP, since it is mostly uh, um, regarding audio-visual conversation, so whenever the talk spurt does not contain uh, any audio, so the silence can be suppressed, saving certain bandwidth for usage by either video or for any other textual data that can be transmitted in line. Then we have uh, the extended real-time uh, polling service. Again, it is suited for periodic traffic, both with the uh, active and silence intervals. It is related to voice over IP. It doesn't have much concern with IPTV, but it supports both. But the extended real-time polling service actually helps for uh, video and multimedia streaming in, in, in the sense that it involves more negotiation features as compared to simple real-time polling service. So extended real-time polling service has more negotiation options which are available between two interacting parties. WiMAX is uh, highly suited for um, providing QS based uh, IPTV service. Uh, let's look at Wi-Fi. To begin with, we, we already know 
that Wi-Fi is highly deployed and um, uh, it should be and preferably can be used for uh, delivering the IPTV content down to the user. Uh, but there are certain constraints and limitations. Number one, it is not based on TDMA. It is contention based, uh, which which limits its application because uh, any fluctuation in uh, uh, in spectrum allocation in resource um, contention, the QoS is going to drop at an unacceptable level, and then it is based on the ISM unlicensed band, um, so that also is again not much suited for. Uh, delivery of Wi-Fi, but uh, the only good thing about Wi-Fi is it's highly deployed, and uh, this is something which is part of every household. So a uh, QS can be compromised, but the wide deployment has to be encached and utilized. And this is something that people are comfortable with because it is only the last hop which is in your house that is carrying uh, this IPTV traffic in uh, your house. So quite likely uh, within a certain geographical area like a room, like a floor or a building, uh, there isn't uh, much um, expectation of sudden and unexpected service degradation because uh, the number of uh, competing uh, sources are, uh, uh, are uh, not there. Because uh, a Wi-Fi access point is likely to uh, interfere with another Wi-Fi access point in the downstream. If that does not happen, it becomes an acceptable choice. Now, does Wi-Fi offer quality of service? There is a variant. Yes, it does. It is uh, IEEE 802.11e. Uh, it calls actually the class of service or type of service as the access categories now the access category is something that we haven't come across uh, but it is uh, almost the same as the type of service so um, different classes of service or type of service can be mapped to different access categories and 802.11 e uh, provides differentiation in terms of uh, traffic prioritization uh, admission resource allocation and scheduling for these uh, uh, access categories.